Hey, what's going on, guys? Robert Welkner here of CoinOp TV. I got the uh, Jack and Daxter Collection Remastered HD Sony PlayStation 3 exclusive. The Dynamic Duo is back. Naughty Dog 3 classic games in one. Jack and Daxter 1, or Jack and Daxter the Precursor Legacy. Jack 2, Jack 3. This is my third video. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and start Jack 3. I've already done a video, for, a little bit of a video for uh, Precursor Legacy, the first one, and Jack 2. Uh, you know, these are just kind of samplers to show you guys a little of the gameplay, um, walk you through sort of memory lane, I guess. They're available on the, uh, I believe these are available on the PSN individually, but uh, I'm playing them on the disc, the uh, th collection. Uh, it's HD remastered, it's trophy supported, and it's also 3D compatible. Not a big 3D person, but uh, if you are, then that is something to be excited about. Alright, let's check out some opening cinematics created and developed by Naughty Dog. Uh, let's see, I guess I would put on these subtitles, just in case. So now we've got a, a darker. By order of the Grand Council of Haven City, for heinous acts and crimes against the people, you are hereby banished to the wasteland for life. This is a death sentence, Vigor. There must be another way. Your protest was overruled. This dark eco freak is dangerous. Now drop the cargo. This is an outrage. I am outraged beyond words. Although I do have something to say. Not everyone agrees with this ridiculous decree. Yeah, we want a recount. Oh, I see you wish to join him. Actually, we are not that outraged. Farewell, Jack. Stay out of the sun. <laughs> Drink lots of water, if you can find it. Jack? Go back to the city, Dax. I'm sorry. The council is too powerful. There was nothing I... I know. You just stay alive, you hear me? That's an order. Someone will find you. I promise. May the precursors have mercy on you. Dexter, don't thank me. I'm only here because you wouldn't last a second without me. Okay, tough guy. You got us into this mess. Now you gotta get us out. Ah, what a team we'll make. Let's just get moving. <sighs> but which way? That way. That way. Oh, and I suppose you know where you're going, huh? Better than you do, Bent Peak. Uh, let's just move. <laughs> this was all your stupid idea. No, it was yours. Only a bird brain could have thought this one up. Let's go with him. We'll help together. You mean we'll die together? I can't believe the city hates us. We saved those lowlifes. Jack, the city's divided. Reports say new crimson death bots are holding the vital section of the industrial area. My men are getting their asses kicked. The KG have a new leader. We're trying to find out who it is. I'm afraid I've got more bad news. A large group of surviving metalheads have concentrated in another section of the city. But we destroyed Core. It appears the strongest metalheads have survived. The battle for the city has just begun. The people are blaming you, Jack. Such an epic introduction here. Report! It's bad. The city's become a battlefield. Mechanized death bots have taken the industrial section. And the surviving metalheads have expanded their hold on the west side. We're losing ground on all fronts. The council's meeting tonight in emergency session. Rumblings about you, Jack. It doesn't look good. They think your friendship with crew helped the metalheads get into the city. You don't believe that, do you? What's in the past is done. Right now, metalheads are assaulting the palace. They're looking for something, and I have no idea. By the 
Jesus. Looks like we found some live ones. <laughs> Barely. Here's the beacon we were picking up. Who gave you this? We'll take them with us. Let's move. I smell a storm coming. Press the start button. Wow, I was just like prepared to sit back and watch an entire movie here. That was uh, that was a lot to stomach in uh, you know the first two minutes of opening cinematics. There, right, guys? All right, let's go ahead and save to my hard drive. Uh, if you guys have played this before and you remember back in the day on the old PlayStation Two, you had your little cartridge, bring it over your friend's house, your little memory stick. I guess it wasn't a cartridge, a memory stick. Bring it over to your buddy's house. Play some uh, PlayStation 3 games over there. I love water. Oh, yes. It's so good. Is it bad? Well, you've come back from the dead, have you? And my monks were ready to pray for you. I am Damus, King of Spargus. Spargus? Wait, nobody lives outside Haven's walls. Not a whole city. Ah, yes. We are the Forgotten Ones. Haven City's refuse thrown out and left to die. Just as you were. But now that you have been saved, your life belongs to the people of Spargus. And we will use it well, if it's actually worth anything. Hey, that sounds like a bad deal. You are in no position to deal. Out here, everything is either useful or dead weight. Prove yourselves worthy, or the desert will be your grave. You need to work on making a better first impression. <laughs> in the unforgiving wasteland, we value strength and survival above all. We will see where you stand soon enough. Complete your training, then enter the arena. Just the bravest crawl out and are allowed to stay in Spargus. It's quite simple, really. Um, what happens to the ones that don't crawl out? Then it will be as if we never found you. Oh, I was afraid of that. Hail, all citizens of Spargus! Wow. Even more crazy cinematics. Where we get to watch other people wet themselves in pee. These halls will once again test two newcomers, each fighting to prove their worth to stay among us. Let's hear it for Jack and his obnoxious talking animal. Pecker, there you are. Who were you? Demo says I am to be his new counselor. He says my wisdom will serve him well. Oh yeah, and uh, Deimos also says that uh, you two are likely to die in the arena today. And he hopes your death is very... Uh... Will you stop that? Deimos can talk for himself. He is right. You will most likely die. And yes, <laughs> Pecker is my new advisor. Unlike you, some people appreciate my talents. It beats working for a living. I saw a few of the fights earlier. Oh, not a pretty sight. Why, you little... Let the games begin! I wonder if they ever came out for toys for uh, Pecker there. All right, so we got the on-screen icon letting us know that, uh, you know, we're saving. We'll check this there. Um, I think I'm going to have to... I guess I'm going to have to invert my controls. It's interesting, the, um, the defaults. Uh, oh, okay, we're in the menu there to show us the controls. <laughs> As you can see, uh, Jack 3 is probably the most advanced of the, the bunch of the three when it comes to um, move sets and controls. I was flipping through the manual during the cutscene there, and there's just like two pages of uh, controls. There we go. Let's, let's flip this. Flip that. Flip you. Sorry guys, but you know I'm 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 an inverted viewer. All right, so there we go. That looks good. Uh, we still don't have like a Y axis unless I sort of jump in. All right, I have not played this game in quite a while, and <laughs> you must roll sometimes. I got like a little uh, a little thing following me along there. Is this timed? 
So here we're sort of in the little tutorial section, just kind of getting things set up. But as you can see, um, if you watch all three of these videos that I put up so far, you'll see quite a difference in the tone. Uh, visually, you know, the Precursor Legacy was always my favorite, the first one. Ah! Well, that's what it looks like when you die. And I can zoom into the camera and see my melting flesh. Let me double jump over here. I always preferred the Precursor Legacy the most just because, I don't know, it seemed like light and fluffy and, um, you know, just it just had kind of like a nice fantasy to it. I mean, this, this is something cool about kind of the dark and crazy side of things, but I don't know, for this franchise, to me... Alright, I gotta do the, the roll jumpy thing. Ah, get back! Oh, I guess I didn't die. Um, yeah, for me, I kind of prefer like the light and fluffy, you know, the non-talking Jack. Let's see what the timing is for here. There we go. Yeah, you know, once once they started making them talk and crack things and have dark eco, then. Uh, you know, still a fun game and a fun franchise, and props to Naughty Dog for, whoa, for going kind of pretty crazy on these games and really setting the setting the, the bar high. Not a big, I guess I'm not a big fan of the roll jump. Either, either I just suck at it or I'm not a big fan of it, so one or the other. I gotta smash this. But, you know, as far as, like, reviewing this or playing through it and stuff, I mean, I, I, at the heart of things, I just want to kind of show you guys, hey, look, look at how fantastic this game looks, feels, plays, you know, years and years later. What do we got? A moving platform? Uh, you know, I've been playing a lot of, if you, if you guys subscribe to my channel, you know I've been playing a lot of Skylander Spyro's Adventure. And, um, you know, to be honest, the graphics for that game and this game aren't a whole heck of a lot different so if you're if you're sort of playing Skylanders and you're like hey I got to uh, get some PSN money or I got some bucks on my my trade-in card at GameStop or whatever it's uh, it's definitely worth plucking down 40 bucks you can also get these um, individually uh, as I mentioned I would recommend is that where I came from where do I need to go I'd recommend starting with the Precursor Legacy myself. I guess I needed to go over to that beam there. Is this the end? Cutscene. The candidates have won the challenge. That's right. We bad. You haven't forgotten what I taught you, Jack. <laughs> but I did kind of die a few times, right? Now let's see how you rate against the living. Readjust the matter forms. Prepare the arena for full combat. Prepare the arena for full combat. I just said that. I know, I was just adding, you know, how you do the thing with the... Anyway, prepare the warriors. You mean we, we have to fight against actual people? With actual weapons? Who actually will hurt us? Fine, bring them on. All right, that's it. I want to be on his shoulder. Daxter is already a traitor. Oh, man. What kind of gun do I have there? It looks kind of like a pulse rifle or something. Alright. <laughs> I guess the lava... I guess the lava eventually comes up and kills you. And I also... Yeah, I can hit you as well. The crowd just seems to cheer when you when you fire. All right, I'm gonna try and stay up here because this seems safer. <laughs> now what? I guess I'm, I'm limited to uh, being on the plane. Alright, so far so good. We're only been melted once. Ah, as I say that, I die. Yeah, well, uh, you know... 
the camera's a little slow getting around to see you guys. And and I'm a little I'm afraid. See, I can punch and kick, but I guess it's safer to kick than punch. Yeah, these guys, I guess we are not like a tough gladiator level. Alright, let me get up here. Don't melt me. Should I go for the box? <laughs> oh, why'd it go away? What happened there? I was gonna go for it. Come up here, I'm gonna shoot ya. Aha! Uh -huh. I tricked you into melting yourself. How about that guy? Shoot him from over here. So, uh, you know, what you see is what you get, right guys? Uh, what do you think? You gonna, uh, you gonna pick up some Jack and Daxter? I died again. I guess Pecker was right that, uh, long live the Empire. I'm, I'm, I'm a terrible, I'm a terrible gladiator. I'm gonna be more aggressive. I gotta, I gotta get past this part. Don't you hack at me? Oh man, that was cheap. Into the lava you go. All right, we got eight shots out of fifty. Sixteen bad guys. I'm actually trying to pay a little attention here. Fourteen, thirteen. All right, come, come to Papa. <laughs> I'm not over there. I'm over here, guy. Look at me. All right, I got you in the air. That should have been like a an extra cheer. See if I actually if I actually concentrate and talk less and play, I can I can do better. So forgive my my dying earlier. All right, eight more bad guys to uh, to defeat. Oh no! Oh no! Two more to go. Let guy melt. Oh. All right. Well, I guess I didn't die. It was unintentional. I I kind of am forgetting that. Uh, <laughs> kind of forget. Oh, that killed me. Come on. Please, please don't make me start at the beginning. Oh, I kind of forget that. Like when you punch, you will pop off. I mean, it's it's kind of good and bad. Because, uh, you know, a level like this where there's, like, stuff to, um, you know, like a platform you want to balance on, you don't want to punch and fall off. Alright, this time we're going to make it. We're not going to let. We're going to get some orbs. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go to a kicking guy technique for, for most of this. Now the gun is slow. It actually feels like it needs to reload or something. Oh, funky camera. It's throwing me off. Alright, 11 more bad guys. Come on, bring it. Oh, that's cheap. Death from above. Gotcha. How come Daxter is not giving any uh, witty remarks here? He's, he's been pretty mellow. You know, part of the part of the fun of having Daxter around us is silly, the silly commentary. What happened? What what killed me? All 
Alright, two more to go. I feel like I've... I got this far before, and then and then I died on, like, the last guy, so... Don't, don't cheapen out on me. Victorious! Oh, look at this. The more of these purple orbs I get, the, the crazier, the darker I get. Ah, oh, don't kill me! I want to walk and get orbs! Poor level design. Don't start from the beginning. No, yeah, don't be putting stuff where I can't walk like that. Tricking me. I guess I'm supposed to go to this platform anyway. So, I don't know how much more of this I'm going to play because, you know... I think you guys want to see a little more of the newer modern games on my YouTube channel than kind of the old school stuff. That's kind of a cool hero shot with the uh, people in the background there. Look at Daxter, he's like ready to pounce and attack. Give him some Dark Orb. It was it, It's interesting to note that, um, you know, they really went dark on the Jack and Jack games, but then the Daxter games, the PlayStation, the PSP, were like the opposite. They went back to like... Animal man. <laughs> he has been touched with dark eco, my leash. Our boy here gets all mean and nasty when you piss him off. So don't piss him off. Word to the wise. Ah, then he is dangerous, and that could be useful. Your bravery has earned you your first battle amulet. If you are victorious in two more arena fights, you will earn your citizenship to Spargus. Here is a gate pass to allow free passage in and out of the city. But beware. There is no true refuge outside our walls. The desert is less kind than I. And for your victory, a gun mod is your prize. Oh yeah, now we're talking! Hey, what do I get? Nothing. As usual. <laughs> There's Daxter's. Witty ditties. So, uh, alright, I think I'm gonna... We received the blaster mod, alright. Uh, I think I'm gonna stop this video here. There you go, you can switch weapons. This is, you know, this is all kind of new to the mix. Like, you know, the first one give you a little hover surfboards and things, and then the second jack kind of gave you a little flying around, and this one you just kind of went nuts. Of course, at this time we were all playing um, Ratchet and Clank with uh, all those crazy weapons that, that were in that game. Um, a lot of you guys maybe were playing some uh, Sly Cooper, PlayStation 2. Anyway, let me know in the comments what games, what platformers were you playing on the PlayStation 2? What are some of your favorites? Maybe you're still playing them. Hey, I still have a PlayStation 2 and I still got a bunch. Uh, I know they've been releasing some of the Rayman uh, stuff, the collections, and remastering those on the DS and uh, PlayStation and console. So uh, let me know, guys, what you think of uh, Jack and Daxter, the uh, HD collection. If you're gonna run out and pick it up, you can check it out or what, and, and try not to troll me too hard on my on my gameplay, cause uh, you know I got burnt a bunch of times. Forgive me. All right, guys, for going up TV, this is Robert Welkner. Um, subscribe, like, favorite, comment, whatever. We'll see you guys next time.